Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Lindsay McHale and welcome back to my channel. I am a professional dancer and choreographer and today we are going to be diving deeper into this rabbit hole that you guys have helped me get started in and I'm going to be watching um, BTS Black Swan music video due to tons and tons of tons of people suggesting it so thank you so much i'm super excited to check out the video i've never seen it before this is going to be my blind reaction and i'm also going to be diving deeper into the choreography so i will probably more than likely end up watching a rehearsal video for it and maybe hopefully i can check out where we do live performances but if you want to look more into the choreography with me and also possibly learn some of this stuff in the future um definitely click on the link in my patreon page below that's where i'll be diving deeper into to the choreography but for right now I'm a fan it is definitely a given now Murphy is here with me so he might make an appearance you never know with my dog but that is my dog Murphy and uh yes yeah, so let's check out BTS Black Swan all right I'm excited Gosh, okay, I know it's really soon in the video, but I already love it because it's it's um, very beautiful and poetic and ballet and contemporary already. Like just the fact that um, I'm seeing in the beginning a difference in technique of what style of dance they're doing and just the music already. I love the simplicity of them just kind of flipping their little wrist to go with the doom doom. Doom. That was super, super smart. I love that. Oh. Yay. Oh. Oh, beautiful fan kick. His toes are pointed. That technique right there. He did an outside fan kick. Um, in martial arts, it's also called a crescent kick, but we're not talking about martial arts. He did do like a little spin martial arts uh, dance spin kick move, which was kind of cool because I've actually seen that in both dance and martial arts. So that's why I'm saying that. But if you're looking from a dancer point of view, he just did a um, outside fan kick. His toes were pointed. His um, lines were perfect. His technique, his turnout was insane. He was turning out from his hips and not just from his feet. That's super important. So. Look at the freaking shadow. How dope is that? Hey, yay, get it. I love the vibe of this record. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my god, he's flawless. Hey, Murphy likes it. I like that they're going back and forth from like the black and the white outfits. The white's very uh, contemporary, very like angelic in a way. Um, and then when they're in the dark and the black, um, their choreography is a little bit more rugged and a little bit more hardcore. So I kind of like how they're using that to play with with all of that, like the angelic and the contemporary and the kind of like emotional side is more for the purity and the white. I love that. And then the dark for this one. Murphy, are you excited? He loves watching them. Oh, they're all, my God. Oh, shit, that was so sick. The wings. Hey. I love that I can see their feet, their barefoot. Which is what you do in contemporary. Um, you're either wearing like really small shoes that kind of are on the ball of your feet. So when you're spinning or you're barefoot and yeah, your feet don't look nice. But it helps you feel the ground a little bit more. It helps you support like your movement. So. Ooh, the mirrors. Oh, 
that was so sick. That was so sick right there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jump, jump. Oh my God. So beautiful. There they go with them flicks again. Damn, y'all. That video. Oh my God, that was so sick. Okay. Wow. Oh my God. All right. So the end at the shadow, like I need to know, I'm going to have to look up what these lyrics are about because I did kind of understand some of them, but I need to know what the story's about. I love how it was very like dark. I mean, Black Swan, the wings came out there one minute being dancing very raw and rugged. The next minute it's very emotional. And I want to know like what that story was saying, because it's almost like you can feel him like I don't know if he was letting go of a past self or you know what that was but the whole shadow thing and like it dancing while he was doing something different and then all of a sudden at the end he like looks back and the shadow drops away I freaking love it that video was fire I love it I love this side of them too because for me again I grew up watching a lot of boy bands and I'm technically trained in all styles but I really appreciate the fact that they're showcasing so many different styles of their art and their creativity and their dance I mean one minute they're popping and they're doing isolations and then the next minute they're doing contemporary and and showing that vulnerability so I love that um thank you so much for putting me on to this there's a couple uh, moments in that choreography that were like really interesting actually because they separated um, the dynamic of the melody from what they were dancing to. So one minute they were going like super slow and like swagging it out and then they would do something really quick like a, a, boom, hit and ha, ha, hit. So I really thought that was really cool because you kind of hear, like for me, I, I watch the choreography and then I'm hearing what the music is doing, right? And some people might be hearing the music and then watching the choreography to it. So I look at it as a perspective of like, as you're moving as a dancer, you're making that instrumentation happen in the song. So watching like the music video behind it and seeing when they go from dancing with the music to like dancing with the words, it's almost like they're the one that's like moving that instrumentation along. So I really like how they mix up their textures. The colors were great. The storyline was beautiful. It was very, very, very dynamic, and I love this video. Um, definitely check out this video, um, actually Black Swan, in my Patreon page because I will be diving into the choreography, and I would love to actually showcase some of the choreography and show people the difference between when we're, like, popping, when we're doing, like, isolations and just moving, like, one part of our body, when we're doing hip-hop, and then when we decide to do contemporary, like, how that is all translated differently in your body and in your mind and in your emotions so thank you so much for letting me check out the video I freaking loved it it's probably definitely one of my favorites right now because it kind of touched my heartstrings so comment below let me know what you think if there's any other ones I can check out please feel free to let me know and thanks so much that was with love as always until next time peace <laughs>